Hello everybody, it's Victor with Cardiac Wire, and today I'm joined by Dr. Daniel Carlsberg here at beautiful SCCT25 to talk a little bit about some of the work he's doing with CVRF of Southern California and why he's here at the conference. With that, why don't you introduce yourself a little, Dr. Carlsberg. Hi Victor, thank you. It's always a pleasure to be with Cardiac Wire. So I'm currently the East Coast Chairman of the Cardiovascular Research Foundation of Southern California. This is a nonprofit research organization and education organization. Uh, we've been around now for about 20 years as well with the SCC. We currently are still hosting the longest contiguous running cardiac CT training course. And so over the last 20 years, we've had the great fortune to teach fellows from multiple institutions, spanning from, you know, uh, uh, fellows in training to attendings both in cardiology and radiology from not only Southern California, but all across the country and actually all across the world. It's very exciting. So why don't you tell me a little bit about some of the work you're doing with CVRF and why you're here. Right, so the CVRF has uh, a fairly wide impact for its size. We've been involved in many of the uh, pivotal studies in cardiac CT imaging, whether that's TRANSFORM, which is currently underway, or CONFIRM1 or CONFIRM2. Um, uh, our organization, along with our research associates, probably have the largest database of CT angiograms on planet Earth. And through that, we're able to harvest data, contribute to data. In addition, the Cardiovascular Research Foundation is exceptionally well positioned to work with early stage companies as they try to collect data, uh, uh, make their own data, and then also enter the marketplace. So it sounds like you guys do a lot of research, and I know that education is a big part of your mission. How do those two things fit together? Um, you know, they go hand in hand. We view our, one of our responsibilities at the CBRF to train the next generation of cardiac imager. Um, we have a long history in terms of bringing people up to speed and helping not only shape what the requirements are for certification, but making sure that our readers are certified. Many of our readers go out into industry and join uh, technologies that are rapidly changing the landscape. Um, each year we sponsor anywhere from one to two or three fellows uh, for cardiac, uh, 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 cardiovascular imaging research. Um, and so the educatory pathway and, and what we do involved in research are intricately uh, aligned. We also bring all of those technologies into our teaching courses. So at our teaching course we have all of the vendor players, all of the industry players, not only with uh, what they can do for our field, but really the insights behind it in terms of how it shapes and shifts cardiovascular medicine. So I know you yourself are kind of a preventional uh, physician. Can you tell me a little bit about why prevention is so important in cardiology? Uh, absolutely, you know, uh, if you look statistically, heart attack and stroke combined are still the number one cause of death of human beings in the world. Uh, we have done a phenomenal job of reducing death from a myocardial infarction. I actually, not long ago, was reading a study, I think published by the AHA, talking about an 89% mortality decrease from a heart attack. Uh, so you're actually much, you're, you're likely to survive a heart attack these days if you're treated. Uh, you still have to deal with sequela and medical therapy down the road. One of the core values and the core missions of the Cardiovascular Research Foundation is actually to eradicate heart disease. And we will not get there without aggressive and proactive prevention. And preventive cardiology uh, is really built around cardiac CT imaging. So this is a core, uh, a core piece of information, a core tool that we have to look for disease. And so being here at the SCCT now 20 years down the road, I can only imagine what's going to happen in the next 20 years. And for yourself, out to all the cardiologists there and preventional physicians, what do you have to say? What's one message you'd like to deliver? Um, you know, I think the world, the, the, the world of cardiac imaging has dramatically changed, and I think we are at an inflection point. I view where we are right now with, with preventive cardiology much akin to, you know, pre-internet, post-internet, pre-smartphone slash iPhone or whoever Android your vendor is to, to post. It's just a different world. Um, and so we, in medicine, we tend to move gradually and move slowly. I think a, a, a few things within the technology, within image acquisi acquisition capabilities, and within therapeutics have really aligned for this to be a truly exciting time in cardiac imaging. Well, Dr. Carlsberg, thank you so much for that message and all that background. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Victor. Happy to be here. I'm Victor, and this is Cardiac Wire. Bye-bye.